All right, so angle A is 88 degrees. Where does 24 go? Right, it's across from angle A, so 24 goes on side A, 15 goes on side B, 20 goes on side C. Cody, we good on that? All right, so which letter do we have to start with? Well, the only one that got both answers on is A. All right, so we got 24 over sine of 88. Remember, when you have a decision on which angle to find, find the top one in the column first. We're going to find angle B. That's 15 over sine of angle B. All right, do your cross multiplying right here. Let's see what we get. Guys, that is all you have to show me on this problem. Everything else is done on the calculator, but I want to see that one step. You're finding an angle, so it should be degrees, minutes, and seconds. Yes. All right, so do 15 times sine of 88 divided by 24. If you get a crazy-looking number, that's another sign for you that you have to do sine negative 1. Because, look, you want to separate the sine from the angle B. So do sine negative 1, 0.6246. All right, did anybody else get 38, 39? 38 degrees, 39 minutes. All right, so the only other thing you have to do on this problem is subtract them from 180 to find angle C. So I think I can probably stop and let y'all finish the front, and I'll just walk around, y'all help each other. We might have to do a couple on the back. All right, so little b's 30, little c's 40, angle a is 63. As you can see, we do not have both answers on any of the variables, so we gotta use our new formula so we can find little a, right? So the formula, oh, I, uh, it's on your paper. I don't have them on the board. All right, so we're going to do a squared equals 30 squared plus 40 squared minus 2, 30 times 40, cosine 63. Let's type that in. Let's see what we get. And again, make sure your calculator is not in radian motor. It will not give you the right answer on this. 30 squared plus 40 squared <coughs> minus 2. Cosine of 63. I got 1,410.422. Find the square root of that. 1,410.422. Anybody get 37.6? 37.6. Remember, you get A squared equals this big number. And that should let you know something's wrong. Our side's not going to be 1,410 feet long. All right, take the square root. You should get 37.6, Logan. Is that what you got? Good. Round it up to 37.6. After that, Caitlin, everything else is just what we've been doing. You can start with A because you've got both answers. So that's 37.6 over sine of 63. And it's 30 over sine of capital B. Remember, I want you to find B first. Always leave C for the last one. All right, do you cross multiplying? You're going to have to do your sine negative one step to separate the sine from the angle B. 30. 30 times sine of 63. about 37.6. Anybody get 45, 18? Yeah. No. 45 degrees, 18 minutes. I'll let y'all finish that. Y'all know how to subtract from 180. All right, that should be all I need to show you. Somebody subtract both of these from 180. Tell me what you get. 19, 19 degrees. Right, everybody should be good on that. Now, let's see if you remember about the right triangle stuff. If you guys can remember this, that little a is opposite, little b is adjacent, and little c is hypotenuse. The way that we do it every time, since we're looking from angle a every time, it's going to be like that. And you won't even have to use the triangle 
if you can remember this on one, two, and three. The number they're giving us is on the adjacent side. So we got to pick a formula that's got adjacent in it. Doesn't matter which one, so I'm going to pick tangent. All right, so now set it up. We got tangent of 19 degrees equals, remember, you have to show me angle A. You have to use angle A every time. And the formula says opposite goes on top, which is little a. Adjacent goes on bottom, which is 12. Now, does anybody remember what you type in your calculator when it looks like that? Yep. Instead of dividing by 12, you'll just move it over and times by 12. Remember, we're trying to get the A by itself, so you want to move the 12 over. You're going to have to show me that. That's all that you have to show me on problem one is that step right there with the equation. So 12 times tan of 19 is, I got 4.1. Where does that go? It goes for 8. Now, the good thing about these problems, we can use our A squared plus B squared equals C squared because of the right triangle. So we got 4.1 squared plus 12 squared equals... All right, what'd y'all get after you found the square root? 12.7. 12 Still, check your answer. The biggest angle is 90 degrees. That should have the longest side. The smallest angle is 19. That should have the smallest side. All right, you guys do number two by yourself. I may help you on number three. I may not need to. All right, we'll skip it for right now. All right, let's go to three. Three is a little bit different because you can't find the left column first. What do you have to do first on three? Find the right column. So how are we going to find out what C is? We can do our A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So you guys go ahead and type in 34 squared plus 50 squared. And find the square root. Somebody give me a number. I agree. 60.5 is correct. 60.5. All right, we can leave that in the decimal. It's the left column. You got to write degrees and minutes. On number one, there was only one, or there was a specific formula you had to use. Guys, you got all your sides right here. You can use any formula you want. So pick one. I'm going to pick sine. It doesn't matter. Sine of angle A equals, always use what A is. If there's no number there, just put capital A. Formula tells me, put opposite on top, so 34 goes on top, 60.5 on the bottom. All right, so when it's written this way, and remember, you have to show me that step, and you got to separate the sign from the A. What happens to the sign when you move it over? Sign negative 1. So let's type it in. Sign negative 1, 34 over 60.5. And since we're finding an angle, we have to put it in degrees and minutes. 3412. For A, 3412. All right, guys. Uh, you guys can find angle B. You guys can do that. Y'all don't need my help there. Coach White's is yours. I stole it from you. He got it from me. That's yours. So we only have one? Yeah, we only got one. Thank you, sorry. Yeah. All right, so which formula is going to match up with this problem? We've got adjacent and we've got hypotenuse. So, got to use cosine on this one. There's only one formula that's going to fit these. So, we've got cosine of x equals adjacent has to go on top, hypotenuse has to go on the bottom. What now? Negative Good. Got to take the cosine and separate it from the x, so it's negative cosine. <coughs> 12 over 25, make it degrees and minutes. What you got, Austin? 6119. 6119. 61 degrees, 19 minutes would be your answer. So you're going to have to show me that much on these four word problems. You got your triangle that's labeled, and you got your equation. All right, y'all, try number seven. Get ahead of me. Sophomore says three degrees, nine minutes. See if that's what y'all get. Three degrees, nine 
degrees, eight minutes is fine. Yeah, or it's nine. You round up, it's nine. All right, so I want to type that one in. All right, you guys get a head start on eight. bottom angle that would be well, important. I meant, yeah. yeah, gotcha. And 380 is the length of the side. It's the length of the cliff, right? Tom's on top of the cliff, 380 foot above the lake. Yeah. So it's 380 that way. All right, so number eight, let's see how you set it up. We got Tom on top of a 380 foot cliff. So this side right here has got to be 380. 380 foot. It says the angle of depression. Remember, angle of depression and angle of elevation are always the same thing. It's the bottom angle. It's 18 degrees, 30 minutes. How far is the boat from the bottom of the cliff? So right here's your X. All right, which formula is going to match this one up? Tangent. So we got tangent of 18 degrees, 30 minutes equals opposite has to go on top, adjacent has to go on the bottom. How do you type it in your calculator when your X is on the bottom? Y'all remember? <coughs> so when you swap them, right? You're supposed to cross multiply, but the shortcut I showed you, just take what's on the left side, put it here, take your X, put it here. So 380 over, so 380 over tangent of 1,030. 1,135.6 feet. All right. Point seven. Point seven. Caitlin's got that. See if that's what y'all get. All right, try nine. I'll give you a second. All right, nine says the parking garage, the floors are 30 feet apart. So 30 feet's got to go right here. The ramp's 350 foot long. Find the angle of elevation there. What's your formula that's going to match this one? Is it sine? Because you got opposite and a, a hypotenuse. Yes, so it's sine of x equals 30 over 350. And you guys know you're going to have to make it degrees and minutes. All right, so y'all got like 20, 25 <coughs> minutes left. Is that right? You, you do negative sine. You would have to do negative sine to move it over and separate it from the x. 